Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise him, all ye people here and below. We greet you in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and our order and our pastor, Pastor Wes, Pastor Todd, Pastor Don, and all the members and ministers in the ministry of the Lord's house. We're so grateful to be in front of you and to take a little part of time of our time to just share some words of encouragement, some words of of love and grace and mercy, and and just 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 reaching out to you and just letting you know that you know earth has no sorrow that heaven cannot heal. In our marriages, we go through some stuff, and we we need to have people that we are accountable to, people that we can talk to and share some of the things that are going on. People that don't gossip and slander, but people who show love and God's mm -hmm. grace and mercy. So we, we just actually, just give us a few minutes, just want to take the time and just share, you know, the different roles in um, a marriage. Uh, last time we spoke, we talked about um, the man's role, uh, how he is supposed to take care of his family and be strong in the midst of the storm to hold the family together. Because surely we are tossed and turned here and though. Yeah, uh, and, and things just come and but we need an anchor an anchor uh, that's tied to the family which is Jesus Christ he is the anchor of our family and our life and so we thank God for that opportunity we thank God for our wife today she's going to share a couple of things about the woman's role um, and men listen uh, God put us together for a reason uh, as far as being the wives being a helpmate there's so much more you know, uh, in, in times of need and, and heartache and pain, we have each other. You know, uh, God is in the center of our life. Mm -hmm. And if we're following his word, we have each other. And we stand on that firm foundation that God has built. So we thank God for this opportunity right now to just share, you know, how God works in our life. And maybe it help you in yours. Amen. 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 So, ladies, just um, a few words about wives and and how we should handle or deal with our husbands um a deal. lot of times <laughs> a lot of times you know there's a lack of communication the you know things get turned around and misconstrued all different kind of ways and and we often end up having issues not talking or or just going through a lot of changes mm -hmm. you know with our spouses and you know it's very important for us to be on one accord, to to talk to each other, to communicate to each other. Um, so I'm just going to read something. I, I just, when I did a study on this, I just ran across something that was very um, important. I just like the way it read. So I'm just going to read this to you. Um, and it says, we women are very good at pointing out our husband's faults and failures and punishing them for not meeting our needs. But... That only leads to discontentment and distance in our marriage. True, true. We all know that yelling, nagging, belittling are disrespectful and ineffective. Mm. So I'm suggesting a radical concept that you radical. treat him like a king. And eventually he will begin to treat you as a queen. So very often, you know, as women, you know, we like to be showered with love. And that's one thing that, that women crave and women desire, that they are loved by their spouse. And that love can come in many forms. It could come in the way of showering with gifts, um, my husband doing something for me, or just the kind act of getting a hug or just knowing that I'm loved and, and respected and appreciated. And I think a lot of women, when they are not dealt with that way, they, cut, they feel some kind of way. They feel kind of lost and, and, you know, sometimes they make it angry or, you know, oh, my husband's not meeting my needs. He's not treating me the way, you know, he should. And you know what? For me, I think that goes both ways, right? I'm going to treat you as a king. You treat me as a queen. It kind of goes back and forth. It shouldn't be a one-sided um, kind of thing where I'm doing all the, the praising and, and blessing of my husband. And then he doesn't give any of, that, any of that back to me. So it really has to go both ways. And, you know, it's really important to do that. I think, you know, I think, it's, I think it's very important to, to share and to, to, you know, work on that love together. Uh, that builds a great relationship, you know. And, you know, I think the point about, you know, treating her as the queen that she is in your home is not just in the home, but anywhere you go. 
you know, and honor and, 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 and respect her. You know, uh, sometimes men can be, can be intimidated by things that the wife does or, you know, or she, she, you know, maybe she makes more money than you or maybe she, you know, has a better education than you, you mm. know, but something brought you out two together. Right, Something right. brought you together and, and, and what God has drawn together, let us grow. You know, uh, I remember a time when my wife, she was always in the medical field and um, I was working for the railroad and I was making a certain amount of money a year. And then she told me how much she was making a year. I was like, what? I said, well, <laughs> I can't have her making more money than me. So I went out and, went and got another job. So, you know, that solved that problem right there. But the thing is, the thing is about my wife and I thank God for her is that she's never been that type of person that was, it's about me or about how much money I make or how intelligent I am. You know, it was always about us, always from the first day we got together till now, 20 years later, it's always been about us and our family. And I had to learn that. I had to learn compassion because I was stern and hard, very hard built. But I had to learn to be compassionate in this relationship because I had a compassionate wife. And God put us together for me to learn compassion and to learn how to receive love. Mm -hmm. You know, I was easy. I know how to give it, you know, and it's really not about material stuff, but it's about how you deal of how you talk to one another, how you share with one another, how you communicate. You know, a lot of times marriages don't work because there's no communication. Yeah. There's no trust. You know, one person feels that they're better than the other person. Mm. You know, we have to be careful because we have a lot of people, families that are going through some stuff. Word. They're going through some stuff and it's because it's simple. It's simple mathematics, you know, get rid of the, the selfishness and the, and the, the animosity Absolutely. and the bitterness and all that stuff and let God reign in your life. God is a God of love. Ain't no time for all that other foolishness. I'm calling the feudals. Mm. You don't, you don't you listen. You don't have to listen to me. You know, but you can, you can turn the tape off right now. But it's foolishness yeah. to say I love God and can't love the person right next to you. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? That's the truth. You only know, God to be going around being mean truth. and nasty to people. If we acknowledge God in our life and He shows us love and blessings and favor, we need to be doing that with our families. That's right. You know, so 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 yeah. So I'm not saying that we don't have disagreements. You know, listen. Disagreements and things that you have in your marriage is only there that you can lean on God and work it out. There's no perfect marriage, but I, you know what? You came into this marriage saying that I'm going to love you for better or for worse. Right. Sickness and in health, you know, richer or poor. That's what you said. Yes, that's what you I know. said. You said it, right? Yeah. And did you mean Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Absolutely. Listen, I meant it. And so 20 years later, I've been sick. Mm-hmm. I've been lacking money. I've been going through some stuff and she's still here. Mm. And you know what? You said something that kind of sparked something in me where you said you have a husband and a wife. You work your job. I work my job. But, you know, maybe I make more money than you or, you know, vice versa. And I think as a marriage, you two come together. So it's not about it's my money. It's your money. You know, it's our money. We are in this together and and we need to, to do it together. Mm -hmm. In order to take care of this house and take care of this family, we come together as one. And I think a lot of marriages have difficulty with that. You know, you might say, well, I'll pay this bill or um, I'll use my money to do what I want, but you can't You use your money to take care of the house. You know, I, and for me, I don't know, maybe that's just... My way of being a woman or a wife, you know, I was never like that. You know, I just feel that if I can contribute to the house and if I can can do things for this family, that's what I'm going to do. It's not about the man and he does everything. You know, and some women are, are different. I guess it, it depends on, on how you are or how you were raised. You know, I don't know, you know. But doesn't it make more sense to you that, that we share in things? Sure. It makes it makes a lot of sense that it, it, the more that you want to achieve in life and get in life and the goals, if you're working together, you get those goals. Mm -hmm. You know, back in the day in the Old Testament, you talk about a woman going out, the virtuous woman, she going out and she's uh, doing all this work and stuff taking like that, home, yeah. taking care of the house, yeah. going out and doing stuff, and then the husband is sitting at the gate. You know, mm. but I, I I know that we can get more out of life. 
I think that, you know, working together, you know, and it's, it's like she said, it's not about the money. It's, it's, it's about the fellowship and the, and, the, and the love that we have for each other. We want more out of life. We want to be able to travel and do different things. Right. So it's easier if we both work. Come together. You know, if, if, if you have a husband or a wife that's making a whole lot of money and you don't have to work, God bless you. <laughs> Not here. <laughs> you know, but we come together. Yeah. Listen, we, when, we, when we say, I want to go on a trip, we go. Mm -hmm. You know, we ain't worrying about money. We ain't worrying about food, clothes, whatever. We go. When, when, when we want to buy furniture or pay a bill, we, we we say listen the the money is in the bill account just pay it right you know? right 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 things all working together and I like that scripture say all things work together for the good mm -hmm. because they're working because we're working together yes, I, yes, I, yes you yes. know oh, I, one of our deans from the seminary said uh, every word is a base for discussion working and together mm -hmm. right and that's mm -hmm. why we have a strong marriage you know there's nothing hidden. There's nothing secretive. There's no, you know, when you when you're straight up honest in front in front up front with your partner, there's nothing to be you know worried about. Right. You know, I I don't worry about oh she picks my phone up, will she see a message from somebody? I don't play those games. You know, I, when 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 I was a mm -hmm. child, I thought like a child, mm -hmm. but now I've grown up, I think like a, a man. Mm -hmm. You know, a man who respects and loves his wife, and loves his love to be you know be with her. And yeah, share, yeah. even if we get upset at each other, which we do sometimes, you know. But we don't go, we don't scream and yell and say un, un spiritual words. Mm -hmm. You know, we say, well, you know what? Let's see what God says about this situation. And God always shows up. Right. So even if we got upset, we still come back the next day like nothing happened. That's right. Sometimes That's that right. makes me mad. Like I'm mad at you. <laughs> okay, honey, I love you. I'm like get off of me. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, it, 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 but it's it's all. I mean, I love that. Yeah, I love yeah. that because what happens is, if you a small spark of anger, if you sit on it, yeah, it's gonna grow. That's right. If you if Just you like meditate fire. on it, fire, fire right. is if small. If you meditate on that thing, that thing gonna get so out of you. You forget what the argument was about. Mm -hmm. Now you're talking about you know lawyer nine one one. You know, but I thank God for the opportunity. You know, for for. For the love that he has shown us, taught us mm -hmm. how to love. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not osmosis. You're not going to just get it right away. That's right. For all those who are thinking about marriage, it works. It works when you work it. Yeah, you, you know, gotta you got to work it. You got to be honest and upfront and trustworthy. You know, you can't hide anything. You know, there's no secret account here. She knows all. She knows where all my money is. Mm -hmm. All of it. <laughs> you know, all of it. Okay. But, you know, it, it, it's, I don't know where her money is. Anyway. <laughs> I'm just going to read a scripture um, that I think is befitting for um, just for the vlog this day. Um, and it reads, let each one of, of you in particular so love his own wife as himself and let the wife see that she respects her husband. Respect. And that's found in Ephesians chapter 5 verse 33. Um, and I think th that's really important, you know, that you respect your husband, that you not belittle him, not put him down, you know, especially, you know, you want to do, treat him kind uh, right in the house and well as outside of the house. You don't ever want to um, put him down or belittle him or make him feel that he's less than a man um, because you should never do that. You want to respect him and respect his character and just respect him overall because that's very important. That's, that's, a, that's a big word, respect. Mm. You know, and, and we talked, we just finished talking about that, respecting each other and having yeah. honor and honoring each other and loving each other. Mm -hmm. All those things that are, are the fruit of the spirit, you know, yeah. and so outside of that, you're doing wrong. You know, this is mm -hmm. not a domineering relationship. You don't do things that I want to, you know, right. when, when I say I'm going to church, you're going to church. When, when you say you, you're going to church, I'm going to church. When you say you're going to pray, I'm going to pray. Mm -hmm. We do things together. Mm -hmm. We have respect for one another. Right. You know, right. and there's 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 no room for Satan in this house because right. God is the head. But when he tried to rear his ugly head, we get into prayer. We get into thinking, well, God, you know, mm -hmm. it's all, what can you're, we do? you're in control of the situation, mm -hmm. you know, and you need to help us. Yeah. And so God is faithful. God, God always shows up. He always delivers. And I just thank God for 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 the marriage uh, beyond marriage. Mm -hmm. 
because uh, as, I, as, as Minister Bruce would say, beyond marriage is like what happens you know, after the baby. After the ceremony, after yeah, you, after you, all that, you, you do you know, that. What do you do? How do you? you know, how do you keep right, together? Right. You know, we all we talked about how we how whatever you did in the beginning, you should be still doing, mm. showing that love. Yeah. You did everything you can. She did everything she can to get me. She should continue on doing that. Don't y'all think so? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Amen, amen. So I think we just have to remember that, and you know, we want to be treated. Kindly, I want to be treated kindly. He wants to be treated a certain way. And I think you need to continue to do that because that's what builds a relationship and builds the marriage. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So, so listen, the time is running out and uh, we just want to thank you for the opportunity to come before you uh, to talk about the role of, a, of the wife. And we hope you got something out of it. Yes, yes, You yes. know, and we just, we give honor to our Lord and Savior. Who, who gives us this wisdom to talk about these things mm. and to uh, share positivity into somebody's life. Yeah. So, you know... Um, Can I pray out? Yeah, why don't you pray out? <laughs> Most gracious and heavenly Father, Lord, we just thank you for this day, Lord. We thank you for the word that went forth today um, in church, Lord. And we pray that we can bless another marriage, another couple with information that can just help them and so that they too can stay married, stay together, and honor and respect and show love to each other, Lord. It's so important, Lord. Please continue to watch over us. Bless our pastors. Bless those who are in need, Lord. In Jesus' name I do pray. Amen. Amen. So that will be in for... Uh, Beyond Mary. Beyond Mary. Beyond Mary. Deuces.